Hello friends, Tony here. So in the previous video, we worked with the dependent dropdown, we refactored this. So if I open here, we have, we created this select option component, and now we move the logic in this component and in the parent component, so in the dependent dropdown, we reuse this select option for counties, states, and cities. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the select to in this uh, dependent dropdown because I had a comment in a YouTube channel how we can use the select to and to have, use the select to. We need also to have a jQuery and I'm not a fan of jQuery these days, but I'm going to show you how we can use that. So I have opened here the CDN JS and copy the script tag for uh, jQuery. And we can add that in the app blade, which is going to render for all the pages, or we can go to live our documentation. And here we have the executed scripts. And to execute a bespoke JavaScript in your live wire component, simply wrap a script element with add script and add end script. And this will tell live wire to handle the execution of this JavaScript. And here is the example. So in the component, we have the parent div. And after this parent div, when we close, we are going to say add script, passing script, and end script. Okay. Also, you can see here we have uh, loading assets. And after the div, we have add assets. And we can pass the assets. So for this is example is for a Picardy. We have a pigandjs and also the style sheets. And let's do that. Let's, uh, instead of that, I'm going to add in the select option bleed. After the parent div, I'm going to say asset and add the jQuery and also the select two. So in the select two, I'm going to use a select two from a CDN and let's copy the styles first, or let's copy both of them. And I'm going to add right here. And then let's close this. So let's say end assets and save. Good. Now let's go to basic usage. Here we have the example. So uh, select two will register itself as a jQuery function if you use any of the distribution builds. So you can call the dot select two on any jQuery selector where you would like to initialize the select two. And here is the example. So we have a select with this class name, JS example, basic single, and we say doc in a Java in your JavaScript, we have dollar sign document ready function, and we say dollar sign, and this is the name of the class here. So we use a class selector, and we call the select two. I'm going to use the ID selector. So let's copy this and let's come here I'm going to use the add script here and say script and inside I'm going to paste that in now let's close also let's say end script like this and instead of the class I'm going to use the ID so hash and let's name it country for now Okay, now I'm not going to update the value property with live wire. I'm going to use the select two. So let's remove this and let's add the ID here. So ID country for now. And we say document ready function and we initialize the select two. Now what we want is when we update the select, what we want to do is the and let's go and open the class. So the select option class, we want to update this value. And this is a model label, which means it's going to update. So if I open the dependent drop down, it's going to update the selected country. Okay. But for now, let's say here, donor sign and use the ID country. I'm not going to use select two here, but I'm going to say on. 
and all change, I will receive the event and I'm going to say, for now, let's say just console log the event dot target dot value. Okay, let's save. Let's see in, on the browser now. If I refresh and uh, inspect the element, uh, as you see, we have uh, different styles here. Now, if I select the country, we have the ID of the country. Select another country. As you can see, here is the ID. Okay, now let's update the value based on this event target value we update on change of this uh, country. How we can do that? If you go to uh, live wire, so on the JavaScript, we can go down to say, uh, we're saying the dollar sign wire object. And let's scroll down. And live wire exposes a JavaScript representation of the server side component in the form of an object that is uh, commonly referred as dollar sign wire. So we have all component public properties are directly accessible on dollar sign wire. So for example, dollar sign wire, wire count, we can get that or dollar sign wire get and the name of the property, so count. So get the value of a property by name or set the property on the component by name. So dollar sign wire, dollar sign set, the name of the property and for example, the value which is five. And let's use this. So let's use the dollar sign wire, dollar sign set. I'm going to copy this and come here and paste that in. Now, instead of uh, count, we want to update the value. We named this property value, but you can, for example, name it count or what you like. Now, let's say value also here. And instead of hard coded five, we want to update with the event target value, which is going to get the ID when we update this select, when we select an option here. And let's come here and see now. Okay, so let's just show you one more time. We listen for on change event when we change the select and where we say to us and wire set, update the value with the event target value. So event target value is going to be the ID of the select option, which is going to be the ID of country. So let's choose this. And as you can see, now we have states of this uh, country. If I choose this state, nothing is going to happen. If I choose another country, now it's going to show cities here. And why is that? Because we have here uh, we initialized only on the idea of country and we render that for countries also for uh, states and for cities. This means that we need to make this ID dynamic not. So let's also show you if I inspect the element. As you can see here, we have the ID, the select with ID country, got, but also here we have a select with ID country. So also this one is a select with ID country, and also this one is going to be the same, an ID with a select country. Yeah, select with ID country. So we need to make that a dynamic, and we can do that by saying, dollar sign name we're going to use name here we get the name when we render here so we can say for example uh, this select option is going to have the id name this one is going to have the id state and this city 
Apple. So here, instead of hard coded, we can say dollar sign name. Now let's save and let's see. Come here and refresh. Choose a country. Now we have states based on this uh, country and we have cities based on this state. If I change that to Albania, now we have states based on this country and we have cities based on this state. But as you can see, the county or state has lost the select to initialize because when we update the live wire is going to destroy uh, the select to and what we can do we can say here wire ignore which is going to ignore the live wire but that if i refresh let's uh, choose the country as you can see now the country is remaining on the style as uh, it is let's choose a state okay and let's choose a city good but what if i update the country now it's not going to update the state as you can see the state is remaining to the uh, Afghanistan because we say here wire ignore what we can do is let's go to uh, live wire and I'm going to search for uh, force forcing a child component to re-render I want to re-render the child component and that is mean is going to re-render this component and also is going to pass the new states when we update this so how we can do that we can say key so this is a child component passing the to do's and is going to, we need to say key to the assigned to do's plug the id and join passing the dash. I'm going to copy that and do the same in our project. So let's paste to this one, also to this one, and also to this one. Okay. Now instead of count, instead of uh, to dos, we can use countries here. And instead of to dos, in here we can use states, and in here we can use uh, cities. Let's save. Let's come here. A refresh. Let's choose the country, choose a state, and choose a city. Okay, now what if I update the country? is going to re render this, which means now we have updated state based on this country. And the same for the city. If I uh, update the state, also it's going to re render these cities and it's going to show the cities belong to that. Uh, state. So now we have a full working uh, select to dependent drop down. Okay, perhaps also uh, let's go here. Instead of uh, dollar sign wire, we can use also at this. And uh, I haven't find in the documentation, but I know this uh, from the live wire version 2. So this is mean this component set and the value so the same and let's try and it's going to work correctly okay now what you prefer at this or dollar sign a wire i'm going to stick to dollar sign wire and i'm going to remove now the console log and save and this is what we have done in this video just passing the assets and a script and say dollar sign document ready function uh, initializing the select to and on the change of the id which is a selector of this select here we listen for the on change event and on this event change we say the assign wire set the value and get in the event target value which is going to be the id here okay friends that's it all about this video i hope you enjoy and 
If you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.